Many people go to the back country to practice target shooting. However, this activity has caused 10 wildfires this year. Cal Fire investigators actually found steel tip or steel core bullets, which are more likely to spark a fire than a lead bullet. Firefighters now ask the public to take extreme precautions. One, do you know what's behind your target? Where's that bullet going to go? Two, what are you shooting in? Are you shooting in a field of brush that's receptive to any type of ignition? And three, what type of weather are you shooting in? Is it 100 degrees out, low humidities, pretty much fire weather? According to the South Bay Rod and Gun Club, older pistols may also cause a fire if used in the back country. Still burning powder. And if there was any vegetation, dry vegetation in front of me, there's a good possibility it could catch fire. Cease fire, the range is cold. Authorities recommend going to shooting ranges like this one in Hamul, which takes steps to prevent fires. We grind off all the vegetation so there's nothing to burn. If someone starts a fire due to negligence while shooting targets, they will also be responsible for the firefighting cost. We have to remember too is when we get these long range fires, pretty much when people shoot a bullet into a valley or a canyon, what happens is a lot of these places are inaccessible to fire engines. So now we're fighting the fire with aircraft and hand crews, which is very costly. Cal Fire is seeking to recover almost $3,000 in damages for five of the 10 wildfires caused by shooting targets. So if you go out target shooting in the backcountry, make sure you don't do it with negligence, or you can simply come to a shooting range like this one. Barbara Medina, Univision, San Diego.